What a night it was. Thanks so much for joining us for CBS North Carolina at noon. It was a big night, but we got to get to another big story right now at noon. The NCAA says it is reluctantly allowing North Carolina to be considered once again for future championship and tournament bids. Now, this comes following last week's repeal of House Bill 2 and the passage of a new law that LGBT advocates say does not go far enough. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick joins us live from the General Assembly with a look at the impact of this big announcement and how people are reacting. Bo. Russ, the NCAA says the new law, House Bill 142, meets the minimum requirements necessary for it to ensure that its tournaments and championships are held in a non-discriminatory environment. The NCAA says that previous tournaments and championships already awarded to the state for 2017 through 2018 will remain in North Carolina. However, the organization also warned that if their expectations of a discrimination-free environment are not met, then the NCAA's Board of Governors will not hesitate to take necessary action. Earlier, we caught up with North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper to get his reaction. That they recognized progress in this legislation, and they recognized that uh, even though it wasn't everything they wanted, that it was enough for them to come back and to join us in the fight to help to continue to improve our laws. The NCAA Board of Governors says that we have been assured by the state that this new law will allow the NCAA to enact its inclusive policies by contract with communities, universities, arenas, hotels, and other service providers. Now, again, this new law, House Bill 142, does include a provision that restricts local governments from passing their own non-discrimination ordinances through December 2020. The LGBT community has expressed concern overall about the law and about that provision. You'll hear from them ahead on our news beginning at 5 o'clock, and we'll have updates throughout the day on WNCN.com. Live in Raleigh, Bowman, CBS, North Carolina.